Yo, yo, welcome back to Hip Hop Headlines Haven, the illest spot for all the latest in the rap game. Today, we're talking about some heavy drama. Rick Ross just clapped back hard at 50 Cent's wild claims about his estate. Trust me, you don't want to miss this breakdown. Let's get into it. Tell what the Rick Ross thing is too, because there's like a, a, a conflict with another rapper, and you, Bobby, turned me on. What you did was what everybody would want to do. Right. The guy was, I guess, what was he just shit talking you for nothing? Yeah, he just came pretty much because the album's gonna come. He looked for mm-hmm. additional publicity by, you know, saying different things, and then he called me curly. But you really, you really embarrassing him because this guy came out and was, it was, uh, I guess he started something. Yeah. So what you do is. Uh, you, you come on and you go, I'm gonna fuck up your life. And, yeah. uh, which has really gotta be unpleasant to hear. <laughs> All right, I got a couple questions that yeah. I just, I'm dying to know. Why yeah. do you call 50 Curly? He's not straight, he's a fag, he's gay. You know it, I know it. Listen, we're not gonna waste time on Curly. He's a monkey, he can't dress. You know that, I know that. Do us the biggest favor. Stop fucking up those Dr. Dre beats. Dre, you the best. I love you. Send them to me. If not, pay me to write his rap. In case you've been sleeping, 50 Cent came through with some straight up bold accusations about Ross's crib. He threw shade, claiming Ross's flashy lifestyle is more of a front than fat. 50 saying Ross might be out here flexing too hard, living large without the paper to back it up. Seen a Ross take a shot at you a couple huh. weeks ago about a girl that you're not even with no more. Oh, that's that. And then, what is it with you and Ross that's just been going on for so long? I spent it to you, right? Nothing else works for him mm-hmm. outside of mentioning me. Mm-hmm. When things get bad, you mention me. It gets covered first. You see, TMZ is a 50 Cent said this is going to be bad for Irv Gotti's career. I get covered across the board. Yeah. They get covered on the hip hop blogs. It is what it is. Yeah. And you watch because I have nothing else to say. You just see it happen periodically. Yeah. As they go. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You see that big white elephant? Yeah. That property he lives at? It costs more than the nightclub. He's in the nightclubs. Yeah. We know what they can give you. They can't pay you more than they can pay you because the room can't hold enough people for them to give you the money to to stay there. He can stay in three of your squatter, holding on to the leg of the chair that they move. But that's what it is. It's just a part of presentation. Yeah. Come on, bro. You can see this. You don't need me to say this. You know this. Yeah. Look at it. What kind of rich nigga cut his own grass? Why you out there cutting your own grass? (laughs) <laughs> you trying to save money, nigga? You don't want to pay for the lawn to get cut, huh? Let me ask you. The AC this. broken in the motherfucker. In his latest interview with Wallow and Gilly the Kid's million dollars worth of game, 50 didn't hold back. He was all in, questioning if Ross's estate is just a smoke show. According to 50, it's all smoke and mirrors, and he let the whole world know how he feels. But you already know, Rose wasn't about to let that slide without a word. Woke up this morning, so therefore it means it's a perfect day to boss up. Your goals don't give a fuck about your excuses. Those excuses you making, they not gonna get you this. Fuck your excuses. Rick Ross hit up Instagram like a boss, flexing on the haters with a virtual tour of his mansion. Also saying that 50 turned on Dr. Dre by kicking it with the boy Dre, which happens to be his artist Kendrick Lamar's rival. We all know Dre and M put 50 on, so I'm guessing Rose was doing some instigation between the two because he didn't like that interview. Ross made sure everyone knew 50's talk was nothing but cap. They really be wanting you to lose like he just bought the Holyfield Mansion. Damn! He bought a jet? Damn! Oh no, fourth annual car show? Damn! I just seen a clip of the Wallow show where he was interviewing 50 Cent and the other little dude asked him a question, um, small talk. But ultimately, the question that should have been asked was, you jumped out there during the beef, the West Coast versus the Canadian. And I thought Dr. Dre put you on. I thought Dr. Dre was the set. I thought you was loyal to Dr. Dre. You mean you went with the Canadian over Dr. Dre? Who 
who you, you say changed your life? I ain't know, I thought, loyalty, I do And y'all know Ross wasn't done. He threw some jabs back at 50, bringing up 50's own money problems and that infamous bankruptcy. Classic Rick Ross with the swagger and finesse only a boss could deliver. I see what's still going on with you and 50 Cent. You mean you won't do no business with 50 Cent? I would. 50 Cent, I see you raising money for your film ideas. You asked a close friend of mine. I saw the renderings, the drawings of what you believe. I'm gonna give you a once in a lifetime opportunity to come sit down at the table and present your ideas. You know where I'm at financially. I could change your life. Hey guys, you know, I just saw a, a very unfortunate situation that took place in Canada. And I wanted to say to everyone, you know, that I, um, I hope that that brother made it home safely. I hope that uh, he now has a different perspective and a better sense of what to do and what not to do while you're out in the world, you know? That part where the, 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 the young guy went like, he did this little move and shit and got knocked the fuck out, like right there. That was not, that does not reflect him. That reflects his camp. And he might need to go get the uh, the dream cases or um, <laughs> the 305 killers. <laughs> These two got history and this beef is far from squashed. Their back and forth has been one of the most legendary views in the game. And every few months, they're at it again, adding fuel to the fire. This morning, I heard an interview that Rick Ross called. What was interesting is she asked him like where this shit came from or like what he said. We got Rick Ross on the line. What's up, Ross? What's up, dude? Shit came out of the clip, Blue Sky to me. I didn't know what the fuck the nigga was talking about. And then what he said was so whack that I didn't even know if the nigga was meant it or he was like, you know what I mean? Some sideways shit. So he said from the BT Awards. Now, I ain't never had a conversation with these niggas. I don't know these niggas. I know your name, I see your video. There's nobody in control of me. Like, I do what I want to do. I'm deciding to fuck your life up. At 50, you boring me. I might need to get at Eminem now. I might need to, I don't know. Eminem, I'm a big fan of yours. But you got your monkey, your pet monkey, is boring me. Thought he was a goon. Thought he was real, I'm in your hood every day. Mazda Cox. What is his name, Maserati, Fox, Cox? You're a fan. I'm laughing at you, niggas. So what's the move? Is 50 Cent just stirring the pot for attention? Or is there some truth to his claims? And what's your take on Ross's response? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. That's a wrap on today's topic on Hip Hop Headlines Haven. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and smash that notification bell so you're always in a loop because I got more coming for you. Until next time, stay real, stay fly, and keep it hip-hop.